Trading is more mental than it is strategy. That's a fact. $78,000 in one day. Man. People be asking like, why is it that I can kill it on my demo, but when I get in the live, I blow my account. Is the demo different from the live? No, the demo is definitely not different from the live. The problem is the psychology behind it will make you believe that the demo is different. It moves the exact same way. You can put them side by side, they'll move exactly the same way. The difference is psychologically, you're not gonna think about the trades that you're placing on the demo. You will be a lot more riskier on the demo when you're placing your trades versus when you're using your real money, you're gonna be a little more conservative because it's yours. I'm gonna tell you one of the worst places to be in these trading markets. If you need Forex, if you need binary options, if you need stock options, if you need this, then it's not gonna be good for you. The reason why I say that is because you, you're gonna be in panic mode 24 seven. Your emotions is gonna be all in your trades. You're not gonna be able to focus. I'm telling you, trading is mainly mental. It's all mental. The strategy you have works, but it's the psychology. So you need to come to the market with a clear head. What do I mean by that? Cut out all distractions, you know, pray in the morning before you get on the charts, meditate, whatever it is you do. Do that before you get on the charts. Clear ahead of all the bills, all the debt that you have, all the, you know, problems that the world is giving you. Clear your head before you get on these charts so you have a clear mind. You can see clearer you know a lot of people you know they start trading with their emotions you know they start you know revenge trading those are things you don't want to do all right you need to have discipline in the markets right because as humans we're programmed to want more you know what i'm saying we, we're going to always want more that's just our human nature and so when you get in those markets and you hit two or three hundred dollars and you're like man that's cool personal instagram hit three thousand dollars it'll make you feel bad about what you hit and it's like you got to remember this you're at a point in life where nobody you know is making money this fast not even drug dealers drug dealers don't make money every five seconds you know what i'm saying now some of them do but you know if you reprogram your brain and remember the times where you used to get paid every two weeks from a job and some of y'all still get paid every two weeks nothing wrong with it but if you remember that and you say okay I just made a hundred dollars in the market within the first five minutes. Think about that, right? You have to get to the point where you don't let greed creep in because greed is going to creep in and say, you know what? You made that that fast. You can make more. You got to be disciplined enough to say, you know what, man, I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm, I hit a goal. I'm done. I'm going to stop right here because if you keep going, <laughs> you already know, you know, where that's going to end up. You know, I want you to start trading for your goals, not somebody else's goals. What do I mean by that? A lot of the times we, we we get on Instagram, I myself included, you know, we'll start seeing, um, you know, other people's houses, other people's vacation, other people's cars. And it's like, man, you know, back then you wanted your dream car was a Mercedes. Now you get on Instagram, you see everybody got Ferraris and Lambos. Now you're like, you know what? I want a Lambo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's okay to level up in life. But I need your goals and your dreams to be your goals and your dreams and not somebody else's because eventually you'll get to that point where you'll acquire all those things and then they mean nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? When you feel like you could have used that money to go to something else. You know what I'm saying? So trade for your dreams, your goals, your vision for your family, and that'll help you in these markets mentally because if you're just chasing after things, you're gonna blow your account a whole bunch. Chase after purpose. Chase after what, what God has really put in your heart to do because he's not going to bless everybody with millions. I understood that. That's why I'm not trying to be a millionaire day trader. You know what I'm saying? I understand what, what my goal is, what my purpose is with the trading. So I know, okay, well, I have to steward this money in the correct way. And if I don't, it'll be taken away from me. You need to, um, one thing that I do is I withdraw as often as possible. So I recommend you do the same thing. The reason being is because when the money compounds in your bank account, it builds confidence, you know what I'm saying? Because you made that money, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I made the money, I'm withdrawing it, it hit my bank account, oh snap, this is real. You know what I'm saying? Do that all, as often as you can, because it's, it's no worse feeling than making a whole lot of money and then losing it and giving it right back to the market. And it's like, dang, man, the first thing I think about when I have a big loss in the market, I'm like, man, that money could have went somewhere else. That, that money could have went to somebody, it could have went to a purpose, it could have went to something else, and I'm just in here blowing the money. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you withdraw as often as possible. One of the main things you need to do psychologically is just believe. Believe that you can be a profitable trader. You know what I'm saying? Most people don't even believe it. It's like, they feel like it's far-fetched. Like I can never become profitable. Do you know 
it takes 10 years usually to become an overnight success. Most of these traders you're watching took them a very long time to get to where they are. You know what I'm saying? Stop comparing yourself to other people. Everybody's journey is gonna be different. I've been trading about 10 years now and I'm still not a millionaire day trader. Why? Because I'm not trying to be that. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing what God called me to do. I'm, I'm enjoying my life. You see, I'm taking dope vacations. You know what I'm saying? I'm still living. I'm still living. I'm not even a millionaire day trader. So you can do it. You know, just got to believe that you can do it. So write down your goals, your visions, your dreams, right? And that'll help you with the psychology because when you get on those charts, you're going to say, okay, I want to vacay. I want to do this and that. I only need to make two or $300 a day. I'm good with that. You know what I'm saying? Be good with that. Some days you're going to have real, really big days. Some days you're going to have small days, but appreciate those days and move accordingly. We talk about this a lot. You need to have multiple streams of income. You have to. If you don't got multiple streams, it's going to cause you to blow your account a whole bunch, right? Mentally, you're thinking like, okay, I'm going to take my money, put it in the market. I got bills due. I got I got things I got to handle, this and that. You blow that money, now your house is gone, your car gone, your bills is due, and now it's like ugly. It's always good to have a, a second, third, fourth stream of income. You know what I'm saying? Most traders do. Why do you think, you know, a lot of traders have, you know, mentorships and affiliate programs and all these other things? Why? Because it's multiple streams. If something goes bad with trading, which it usually does, you have terrible days or terrible week or even a terrible month, but you can fall back on these other things that's bringing in money so you're not stressed about trading. And that's why a lot of traders are still profitable because they have multiple streams and they're not just focused solely on trading. They have they can have a clear head when they are trading because they know they don't need it. When it comes down to the psychology, really own in, stick to one strategy, you know, two or three, you know, usually have about five of them, but stick to the main one that's making you the money. Don't keep swaying, practice it in the demo, continue to practice in the demo, figure that strategy out, figure out the perfect time that works for you. Stop looking at everybody else on Instagram, stop switching your strategies up, you know, stick to it, it works. Have some discipline. We got a four entry rule, you know, you, you, you let's say, you know, you're three minutes in on the trade, uh, and it's not going your way, place another trade. If that trade isn't go, place another trade in the same direction. By that fourth trade, if it didn't go, your analysis is wrong or you, you've you been manipulated and you just cut it. You say, I'm not lost for the day and that's that. You know what I'm saying? You do that, you stick to that plan that'll help you be very disciplined. It's okay to have a losing day. Everybody has them, but you can do this, all right? So remember, trading is all mental. Your strategy works, what you do works. You just gotta work, it, all right? I love y'all. I'm out here chilling on vacation with the wife. You <laughs> did. God bless y'all, and I pray that I see y'all in another video. Let's go. Going to different locations. How they got one? I need some direction. Me and Vinci go up every session. Cook it up, yeah, you know it's no pressure. Yeah, you know how we do what we all in. We can slow up.